Hi everyone, James here with another LEGO review. This time I'm doing a review of LEGO Hero Factory Brain Attack Bulk. And here we have Bulk. Uh, the only reason I'm sounding sad or depressed about this figure is because this is a depressing figure. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that's the only way I can put this. Um, well, let me let me put it like this. There are four main oops. There are four main heroes in the entire Brain Attack line, or the first wave of it. Bulk is the fo is at least one of them, of course, but he is the only bad one. Honestly, that's the most honest thing I can tell you right now. The reason I'm telling you this is because this is the worst incarnation or the worst version of Bulk ever released, through my opinion anyway. I mean, we've had Bulk 1.0, Bulk 3.0, Bulk from the Break Breakout series, and now we have Bulk from the Brain Attack series. 3.0, 1.0 was good, 3.0 was actually one of the better figures out of the entire 3.0 line, which sucked. Brain Attack, or Breakout Bulk was relatively okay, and now we have this. But uh, I'll leave my um, my uh, biasness to the end. But basically, here we have Bulk. Now, there is quite a bit of nice detail. There is just a shiny sword with a very smooth surface to it. A drill chunked full of detail. Nice armor paneling. Very, very nice little head sculpt. Though, here's the thing. Like Ferno X... In fact, sorry, tell you what. Yeah, that's better. Like Ferno XL, Bulk looks better with his visor down. Besides, whenever he, whenever he has it down, you can't notice the green, in, the green inner head or the fact that he has a really weird frown like thing on his face. I believe this is called a weird expression. Now, having, having said that, the colour scheme for this set is relatively nicely matched. Right. We have silver, we have gunmetal grey, we have translucent orange, we have orange, we have a green inner head, and we have uh, one or two little bits of red, you know, but that's it. Now, for articulation wise, his arms go forward and back and out, um, they pivot all the way forward at the um, elbow and all the way back, and they pivot 360 at the wrist and in and out and everything. The only thing I find wrong with this arm the drill arm is not the drill but this giant piece here i mean it it really does limit articulation and everything which is a real bummer but i forgot head articulation um the head goes side to side it can go 360 but because of this giant honking chin thing it really gets in the way of a lot of things and it's really annoying the head can go up and down, you know, pivots everywhere. And the visor, it goes all the way back. And if you are so needy and choose to do this, like I do, you can actually take off the visor and put it on backwards. So at least he has a little bit more of a head exposed thing going on. But like I said, he looks better with the visor down. So, down with the mask, or the visor rather. Anyway, um, the legs go forward, back, in, out, bend at the knee, pivot 360 at the foot. Now, as for weaponry, he has one little missile, which can actually shoot out. You know, very basic Lego technology, nothing but plastic and two little pieces. Um, the drill spins, which is... Nice, a little bit of a nice touch. The shield is shiny. Shiny and smooth. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> sorry. 
Now, the cool thing is, if you actually remove the little blue peg thing, and somehow, oops, and if you actually manage to put it in the back here, he can store it in his on his back, and it looks something like that. Now, I have nothing against that, other than the fact that, well, the drill itself looks a little bit, well, it looks better whenever the hand is on the arm, but other than that, I think the drill looks, unfortunately, it looks a little bit out of place on this set. I mean, truthfully, I think this drill seems, intends to stick out like a sore thumb. Well, I have no sore thumbs, but you, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Now, having said that, the drill is a very nice touch. The missile, but right, which happens to be, oh, I don't know, right beside it, seems a little bit odd. But yet, there are two things that I really, really don't like about this guy. The first is this giant piece here. Couldn't they, couldn't Lego have just, I don't know, just left it off and just had him something like that? Or even yet, or better yet, have had one of these little pieces up in here? I mean, that, that would have been better. Heck, they could have had two of these on, and still have had good articulation, that would have been fine. But unfortunately, no. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Actually, I have three issues. The first is that, the second is the huge jaw, and the third is the ugly face. Now, in comparison to the likes of, if I just stand them up here, in comparison to the likes of his counterpart, Breeze, who Lego redesigned her original head in order to make it, give it a little bit of a 2013 look to it, I think they did far better with Breeze than they ever could have done with Bulk. But truthfully, the head is decent. I at least give credit, Lego credit for redesigning it and giving it a little bit of, a, of an up-to-date look, which is very nicely done, might I add. But the thing is, it's it's not my favourite. And for comparison, we have Raka and Breeze. But here's the... Oops. But here's the main thing I like about this very, very shot. They block out bulk, which is the best bit. And, to make things better, why don't we throw in Inferno XL, who has a giant black cape and is capable of, well, keeping everything out of sight. So that's my favourite bit out of that. But um, in comparison to the three, into the three with the other two smaller heroes, bulk is definitely the worst. If you're going to spend your money on a character or a figure that's at least going to be good, get any th any of the heroes besides bulk. I'm I'm sorry, all Hero Factory bulk fans. I know you're gutted by what I'm after saying, but it's the truth in my opinion. <sighs> oh well. Well, this is this review over and done with. And the moral of the story is, spend your so your money on something that's good, not bulk. Unless you're a bulk fan. Then there's a difference. But until then, this is this review complete. Okay, this is Night Slash 22 Engineer. Subscribe to my channel for videos and more. Like me on Facebook by searching for Night Slash 22 Engineer. Have a nice day. See you all around. Until next time. Bye, everyone.